Hey everybody, this is part two of the petite death guy. Um, basically, I haven't been able to do much because I do have kids and I have to attend to them. I've got little ones ranging from age six to ten. And of course, my two older ones, my 17 and 19 year old. And, you know, I've got to take care of household stuff. So I wasn't able to get as much done as I would have liked. Um, however, this is the bear guy, uh, death guy. Um, basically... I got the initial color schemes. There's some cleanup I have to do before I even get to weathering. Um, and I'll explain about the eyes in just a moment. But he's pretty much where I want him. I'll probably be doing more this evening. Um, you see, I did a... I remember, this is supposed to be like a post apoc type guy. So his finger joints, some of them have been replaced. Um, the weathering, like I said, still needs to be done. I need to do a little bit of detail work on these hand grenades. I'd like to do a yellow stripe where that white is. Um, I'm probably going to have to do that later because, I'm, like I said, I've got kids. i got to wind them down for the evening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, just a little bit more detail work to do. Um, these grenades, they're crude grenades from uh, Warhammer 40K. Um, I think I'm going to paint them silver where those little knobs on the inside are. And I'm gonna well actually I'm gonna use the aluminum color that I mentioned earlier, and do some um, ghost tints on them to give them kind of like a glow effect. Um, his little tail still missing. Need to do that. And there's a little you can see I need a little touch up right there of white. Um, one thing I do need to know mention I did use two different hands. I can't remember what hand this is from. To be honest with you, this one is an older hand. And I didn't notice before, but it's missing the seams between the knuckles right there. Um, so I kind of had to paint them in, so I'm probably going to have to dirty those up quite a bit. Um, I ended up using Hull Red by Vallejo Colors uh, from their Panzer series for that little iron patch right there. And that's going to get some rust effect on it. Probably rises rust. i um, going to do some chipping on this. This is the burnt steel on the spikes. Now, with the eyes, I was going to use the Citadel Soulstone Blue. What I learned, I already did it once, and I messed up. Uh, but what I learned is you have to let the base coat of silver. You definitely want to put silver on there. This stuff is like a gel. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people just apply it straight like a paint and brush it on. Actually, no, that, that's incorrect. To get that gel effect... Or rather, to get the stone effect, um, jewel effect. I'm sorry, jewel effect. In order to get that, you actually have to dab it into that recess. Um, just like load up the brush and just dab it in. You want to do really fine detail because what happened with me is I got some on the edge. I allowed it to dry and figured, oh, okay, I'll just scrape it up. Yeah, it's a gel and it peeled off everything. So I have to redo the whole thing. I'm going to allow this to dry about another hour or so. And then really take my time once my kids set down. However, I will say the effect is actually really nice. It's really complimentary. It looks like they're lenses, that they're actually round lenses on, on there. And when you hit it with different lights, you do get that uh, jeweling effect. So it's really, it's really a nice paint. Just a pain in the ass to use. I don't know how people can put that into Space Marine eyes. I really don't know. But they're doing it. Um, so I'm, I guess it's just a process I've got to learn how to do. So yeah, he's he's getting there. Tomorrow he should be done. Um, streaking grime, rust. Got to get the tail. Got to fix that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yes, everybody, I know the glue did not sand off right. It's the way I want it. Again, it's post-apocalyptic, so this is supposed to be all slapped together with really crappy welds. So there'll be some weathering on top of that. It's, it is intentional. I might sand this part down right here. Just because I'm, I'm not happy with the way that came out. It didn't come out exactly like I wanted. Um, jetpack really isn't coming out the way I wanted it to. Um, probably should have... Well, if I would have... Drill the hole in here to make the jet look like an actual jet. Um, it's all hollow, so that wasn't going to work. But anyway, yeah, so over here I am going to be drilling a hole. I've decided 
it's going to end up having to be a static pose. So the cabling I'm going to use is actually going to be some really fine brass uh, wires. And I'm just going to kind of twist them up, put them in there, and repaint them. Um, I haven't really touched his main weapon because I haven't decided what color I want it yet. I thought I was going to do one color, and I'm just not digging it. So yeah, this is what he is. He's a little back heavy. He doesn't like to stand up very much. There he goes. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Comment, hit like, dislike, you know, whatever you want to do. All right, take it easy, guys.